Hey guys. So, I'm ready to show you how I do my braid out um, while I'm stretching. Um, I've already begun some of it, but I'm just going to show you one of the pieces. So, I what I did was I washed my hair. I co-washed my hair today actually. And and I air dried. I just let my air dry without any product in it or um, any oils or anything like that. Just, you know, just the, the conditioner. I did detangle in the shower. But um, afterwards, I just let my hair air dry natural. And um, then after it's about 80% to almost 90% dry, which is where I like it to be because our hair is most fragile when it's wet. So you don't want to start braiding and tugging at your hair um, while it's wet. So I like to have it at least 90% dry so that it's not, you know, so prone to breakage, especially while you're um, stretching and you have the two textures going in your hair where your demarcation line it's pretty you know fragile there it could break you know if you are pulling and tugging at it too much but anyways I parted it into four sections so you can see there's one section there's two here and then there's this one okay and I started braiding it up okay so I'm going to show you how I do this. Oh no, I'm sorry. After I parted it into four sections, I was using my Herbal Essence Long Term Relationship. And this one is the new formula and it's mixed with coconut oil. So what I did, I took my coconut oil, warmed it up to make it liquid. And I put some in here. The amount is up to you. It depends on how much oil you want to add. You know, if you want it with a lot of oil or if you want it with less oil. You know, I put a fair amount in here because I find this new herbal essence formula is not as moisturizing for my hair as the old formula. So I put a good amount in here. And my hair really reacts well to coconut oil. So um, I use this and I just you know put it into each section this section already has some I'm still gonna put some more just in in the middle section here so what I do is I just you know run it down and I as I go I just try to work out any tangles that might have formed in the air drying then I put some like just on my on the tip of my fingers and then I hold it out and I you know put my hands in there just to get to my roots okay because I am you know so far into into my stretch well not really as far as other people but you know I'm going on three months stretch and um my new growth is pretty thick so you know just me putting the the product on top it's not going to get to my new growth so that's how I you know try to get the product in there then what I proceed to do is to braid my hair I am not a professional <laughs> at braiding my own hair whatsoever so um, you know I just try to do what I can with it you know um, so I just try to French braid it or whatever it's called braid it down, you know, all the way down to the tips. So, my body's running low, so I come back to you when I've already braided, okay? Alright guys, so I'm almost down halfway. I figured I'd show you because I don't want, you know, to cheat you out of seeing what I'm doing because there's no point in a tutorial if I don't show you so alright so this is where I am going down down and I braid it all the way to the tip okay So that's what that looks like there. Okay. It's probably not perfect, but you know, that's how I do it. And it gets me pretty good results. So then I take my satin pillow rollers. 
Okay, and I just tuck it in. Depending on what kind of style you're looking for, um, you can either just roll it till your ends are sealed in there, or you can roll it all the way as I'm doing. Um, depending on what kind of you know curl you want, if you want a tighter curl or a looser curl. But um, that's what I do, okay? And then after I do that, I put my satin bonnet on, and I'm ready to go to sleep. Then in the morning, I just unravel them and take them out. So I'll come back to you in the morning and show you guys what it looks like. Okay, bye. Hey guys, so it's next morning and um, I'm going to show you what, um, how my braids came out. And as you can tell, you get like that spirally um, tight curl if you roll up your um, pillow rollers all the way up, you know, the tighter the the coil will be. So, um, if you didn't want it as tight, like I said, you could just do just your ends and, um, you know, but I find that if you roll it up tight like that, you know, as the day goes by, your hair kind of, you know, kind of goes down and and eventually it won't be as tight as it is when you first take it off. Alright, so I'm just going to take these off. Okay. And yeah, because you know, with different, depending on the weather outside or um, just with like general, you know, being exposed out and not in a braid, your hair is going to flatten out a little bit. So it won't be as tightly curled as when you first take it off. to look like. I hope it's looking okay. I haven't seen myself in the mirror yet because my mirror is on the other side. So I'm going to take a look and see what that looks like. Alright, that one's all done. I'm going to move my camera a little bit. Just so you guys can see me when I'm looking in the mirror. Okay. Yeah, so. What I do is like I take my fingertips and I kind of massage my roots so that the parts kind of blend into each other and you don't have like that part definition when you're trying to spread out your curls, you know. And it kind of... Make sure here. Okay, so I just kind of separate them with my with my hands, and you can make it as big as you want it, or you know, not as big. Um. Sometimes I just take the front and like, you know, bunch it up or I can sweep it to the side, you know. You do, you could do different things with it. 
but usually the first day after I make it, I just leave it go. And then as I, as the days go by and it starts looking, you know, less fresh, then I start trying to do things, you know, other things with it. But for now, this is what I get. I hope you guys can see the curl definition that you get. It's really nice. My hair will never be able to do this um, without a braid out. So, And again, it is an easy way for me to maintain my hair with all this new growth. I wouldn't you know, I wouldn't be, it wouldn't be as easy to keep it straight. So this is the way that I've been, you know, trying to manage my new growth. All I do with this is just keep braiding it up every night. I will show you guys how I sort of um, refresh this at night time. Um, tonight I will make another video and show you how I do that. All right. Bye-bye.